Hey everybody. Man, it's been a little bit, hasn't it? I'll tell you what, summer has gotten the best of me. I don't do so well in the heat. Um, probably because I'm a fat girl and that's just how that's just how it is. Um I wanted to make a video. We're gonna start something new in the group in Junk Journal Gypsy. Um and we're gonna do it in August. I don't have all of the specifics set out, I don't think. Um, but we're gonna do a memory dex and it'll it'll be every month for a year. And we're gonna start in August. It'll probably be the third or fourth week in August. I'm not real sure what swaps we have set up already. Um, so that'll kind of determine it. And every month you would have a different swap partner. I'm going to try not to put people together the same if I can keep from it. Sometimes we have to because like you have the UK and New Zealand and, and so with limited people in those areas, sometimes you have to partner people up a little more than usual. But what we're going to do is every month we'll have four memory ducks. Um, and it'll be an, a different swap every every time you know like you don't have to sign up in August for the whole year we'll put it up there every month and people can come in and out as they they see um, that they want to and we'll send four a month so you'll send four to your partner uh, memory decks came around I don't know probably four or five years ago with Heidi Swap and she has revamped her stuff. She's got a new spinner and a new this, that, and the other. Um, so I figured it might be a little fun. And I, I came to junk journaling after this whole deal was a thing. And so I think it would be neat. I think it would be a great way for us to just have a bunch of different things for inspiration. And so if you don't know what a memory dex is... It is, if you remember the old Rolodex, um, you know, like we used to flip, hold on, I might even have one. Used to flip, you put um, phone numbers, contacts, things like that. I do. I got it at Goodwill. You know, and you used to write their information on there and then you could go to whatever, whoever. Um, same basic concept, only Heidi Schwab kind of renamed it Memory Decks. And what you do is you make them, um, and then you decorate whatever, however you want to. Now, uh, you can do themes, you can do just all kinds of things. So, I have some here I'm going to show you. They're not, oh my goodness, excuse me. They're not decorated. I'm like I said, I hadn't started these before. I I watched a video the other day, and it just was like, wow, what a neat way. And you could keep it all in one spot. And when you wanted inspiration, you could go to it. And what I'd like to see happen is on the back of the memory dexes, when we're done decorating the front or whatever, I'd like for whoever made it to put their name and then the month and year like August 2021 um, and then if you have say you used a specific paper pad or then you might put that on there because then if somebody loved that one and they wanted to get that paper pad then they would be able to um, if it was just extras you know just to put a little something on the back of it or write it on a piece of paper and stick it down in it if you've got, you know, just the information surrounding it so people can go back. And um, I think that would be fun. Now, I have a couple of Memory Dex die cuts that I had bought um, a long time ago. And some of you, if you've been in a die cut swap with me, you have gotten at least one of these because I love them. And this one, I haven't got any cut out. But um, this one, sorry guys, I'm not very organized. Get it off of that one. Like this would be the back part, 
and then this piece you would cut and this piece would set inside this piece when you let me show you because I do have one this is my favorite one that I have uh, oh dang I just dumped it everywhere so you have this back outer piece Of course, I gotta mess everything up because that's how I ride, you know. And then it cuts another piece that you put inside, like this. And then these actually fold in. Or, you know, you could just leave those off and tear these off and have this one piece and this one piece. Um, and I love those. I got that from AliExpress quite some time ago. I don't even know if you can get it anymore. Um, these are an SVG file I got off Etsy that I do with my brother Scan and Cut that are the tabs. I have bought some kits just so I could kind of see and get, you know, going and figure it out. This is a kit. You just cut it out. Here's another one. Here's another one. I do not remember who these are by. I'm sorry. I don't. I just don't. Um, here's one that like you would actually say put this on the bottom of it. Or it came with a red, a blue, and a white. You know, or this would go on top is what it would. And, you know, then you could decorate with whatever, whatever case maybe you wanted to do. Or if you wanted to make a short one, you know. I personally prefer mine big, but that's just me. Um... Heidi Schwab has a new spinner, and I will try to see if I can find some videos on it. I don't think it's released yet. I did order one on my, this last order that I put in this week, so we can see it, and we'll kind of look at it, and I'll do a video on it. Um, who is it that has on Etsy? There is a shop that I don't, I don't know actually how to even say it. It's Ephop, E-P-H-P-O-P, and -P -P. Um, she does a lot of kits. She has 67 or 68 kits of the cutest memory deck stuff, um, like this one. I don't know if you can see all that. This is one, and then this is one. You don't put these together. This is the back. And then you can cut your stuff out and say, let me move that and see. Say you had this one. And you can put your little foam tape, you know, so it sticks out. Um, and just kind of decorate and add to and whatever you want to do. I love this Christmas tree. Isn't it pretty? Um, so there's that. And I just got three of them. She has a bunch. And I had to stop because it, I, it was going to be a bad deal if I didn't. So this is that one that I just showed you. And it's real cute. It's Peppermint Stick Memory Deck Set. A memoir. Tell your story. Then there's a Summer Days deck set, in case y'all haven't noticed, this little truck right here. It's my favorite thing ever, and I would like to find some pink ones. I have yet to do it, but I would like to find some pink ones. So that's, and you just use your ephemera on wherever, you know, you want to put it. And then there's this one, which actually folds. It's going to have a top and bottom and make an envelope. And uh, that's kind of cute. And it is Secret Garden. The one with the truck is Summer Days. 
She has one set that there's 25 in a bundle that was $28. I'm pretty sure I'll end up getting that. I'm just saying. Um, and if you don't have a die cut, it's okay. There's lots and lots and lots of videos on how to make them. And in fact, give me just a second. I'm going to get my cutter out because I want to show you that. Give me just a second, guys. Okay, well, I said I was getting it, but I'm not because I don't know where it's at. And I just had it yesterday. So God only knows. Um, it is a punch. It's about this long. Well, dang. I was really going to use it, too. To show you. Oh, okay, maybe it's in here. Y'all lose my mind if it wasn't attached. I'm telling you, this is crazy. Okay, yeah, it's not in there. Um, so I don't know, but she has a punch. Heidi Swap does. And I'll list it too in the next sale in case anybody wants it. They're a little expensive, but a punch lasts forever. I mean, it's not. Dang, I don't know what I did with it. And it's cute as a button, too. That frustrates me. Hmm. Well, if I if I find it, I'll, well, I will find it, I promise you, but I'll post a picture of it in the group. Um, so anyways, we're going to start that, and it will be a regular swap. Like, every month we will have that one, um, because I think they're neat, and I think they're cute, and what a neat idea. And, you know, when you get done using a kit, and you got all these little pieces of paper left over, and yada, yada. You know, you could do something with all of them. And if they're just this small, then it wouldn't take up much. You know what I'm saying? And I believe these are four inches wide. Now you can go as tall as you want. You're not impeded that way. Except for if you get one of them spinners, like I'll show you when I get it come in and when it comes in. Um it's gonna be, you know, because it's gonna turn like that. Now these are not fitting in here, but this is a little different too, so, and I'm sure that's got, this one is, has the big cards where the other one wouldn't, um, so keep that in mind. I think Nicola's working on trying to help me find a way for us to make our own out of a box. And that way we could decorate our own, and it would just be really cool. You know what I'm saying? So there's that. So be looking for that in August. Um, the August sale, I will probably start putting stuff into that sale here pretty quick. I have not felt good. Um, it's summer, and it's hot, like excessively hot here. Like my truck was in the shade the other day down by the pond and when I got in it it was 122 degrees but I live between a river and then we have ponds on our property and then we have a lake on this side and so it's like smeltering hot and that has a lot to do with why I didn't why I don't feel good um that sale I will put it on it will probably be the last 10 days or so of August as soon as I start putting stuff in there y'all can start going through there and looking at your looking at what's in there and then you can you can go ahead and start saying you know how many you want or whatever um let me see I have some happy mail I need to find it 
because I had taken it home, I was going to do it at home. And ended up not feeling good when I got there. Uh, my days start real early because of the farm, and they're kind of long because of life itself. So, sometimes I think I just get worn out. So, I have two. I got my, this is from Brandy. Ward in group that was the lace and bling swap and I did open it earlier because I wasn't real sure it didn't have a name on it and then when I looked on the back there was one and then I got my wine from Marlene so let me show you this one and this was the lace and bling swap I love this envelope it's adorable okay, let me get my things up. okay so I got a doily and then a little owl and then a paper doily I love these I saw some dies where was it heck if I remember that had some real intricate doilies that were die cuts and I thought ooh, I'd never get all them little holes out of there and then I got this lace and then this is kind of a creamy brown I don't know if you'll be able to see that because my hands are dark and then this one is white. So that was from Brandy. And then I opened my other one, Marlene's. I think it's, is her name Marlene? Yeah, Marlene. But I didn't pull it out of the thing because I thought, oh man, I want to do that on camera, on video, because I was going to make a video. So, y'all, y'all, here we go. We're going to see. I don't know if y'all are high enough up, but we'll make it work. Oh, look. At that pink doily. Isn't it pretty? I'm always amazed how people package stuff. I'm not good at packaging. I just kind of put it in the bag thing or whatever. Oh. Those are ones that stand up. That's got that foam tape stuff under it. Tear it up. I love open packages. This is a cute little thing. That's I like the greens. Okay, look. This is cute as it could be, and it could be. A memory decks see that's what this card is nope that's a journaling card oh look at these great big old cards those are neat too I don't guess I've seen any that big I mean I've seen them great big ones and um, that's another thing we could do is doing a deck of cards but doing them by the say like spades at one time whatever Marlene, you're so sweet. I love swapping. It is. It's it's very fun. So we have this. It is an altered paper clip. Look. It says friends. Isn't that too cute? Can y'all see it? My camera's not up very high. Marlene, I love how you did this and wrapped it. I don't think, I just don't think when I do things. Wow, I got a bunch of goodies in this one. Get it out here. That is cheesecloth, it looks like. Yay, because I have none. And here, we are very much in a farming community. And you can never find it at Walmart. And it's expensive as I'll get out. Like if you go to our Amish um, store, we have quite a bit of Amish people that live around us. And I mean, and I don't, I'm not complaining because it's expensive there because I know that they're trying to make a living like everybody else. But I just always hesitate. And I don't know why because it goes a long way, but I just hesitate to get it. 
Oh, that's pretty. That's a coral color. I don't know if you can see it. Aww. I love those things that are lifted up. Those are cute stickers. Oh, adhesive lace. Oh my goodness. Look, guys. We are about to... Maybe not. Yeah, we are. We're going to do it. Shut the front door. It's got adhesive on the back of it. You just pull it off and smack it down there. That's pretty darn interesting right there. I don't guess I've ever seen that. It's cute. Very, very cute. That would be good if you were doing snippet rolls. You know, well, I say that. I've never made a snippet roll because I'm scared to death. I'm going to mess it up. You know, Warren, uh, oh, Nicola. They all do stuff like that. And I'm like, yeah, I could see me burning my house down because I done caught something on fire. And Now watch, I'm not going to be able to get this package back in here. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, I did. Look at there. That's cute. And I've never seen anything like that. So, this is why I like swaps. This is why I like things. Because you get ideas and inspiration. Oh, this is cute. Oh, wow. Those are those little... You see the little teeth on there? She put them in there and grabs. Marlene, I feel so bad. I didn't send you enough stuff, babe. You did great. I mean, this is amazing. These are chip worn. You are my sunshine. This is also pretty. So let me put it back in here because if I don't, it will be all over my desk and I will lose it. And then I'll be like, oh, I know I got so-and-so because so-and-so sent it to me. And then, yeah. That's pretty, too. The big round one. I love them colors. I love them. Okay. These are playing cards. Pretty, pretty. What do they got? They got an 808 on them. That's neat. That's different. Oh, look. Shut the front door. It's a paper clip. That opens. With a little book thing in it. Am I still going? Yeah, I am. Why did it sound like it went off? Who knows? That's cute as it can be. See, I would have never thought about that. And then there's this. Thank you, Marlene. You you outdid yourself. This is amazing. Look, it's a pen. I close my hand. And it's got pom pom. Let's see if I can get it without messing it up too bad. Oh, there's the pen right there. I don't know why my camera looks like it's flipping. Maybe, oh, maybe I'm making the. Y'all look, I done got everything messed up. This is what I do when I'm in here by myself. I spend more time trying to figure out my mess than I do making anything because I will have it jacked up. That's pretty. Super, super pretty. I love that color. And then there's pom pom trim. And then, oh, see, I've got myself all kinds of mingled. 
Y'all, I really do. I spend a lot of time cleaning up after my, uh, my own messes. Oh, this is pretty. Isn't that neat? And it's got little pearls on it. That is so cute. And then she wrapped it on a thing. There's some leather. That's cool. I've never seen it that way either. Huh. That's really neat. And then this is... Oh, she wrapped some more around the thing. Let me find the end. Oh, there it is. Isn't this a neat idea to wrap it around stuff? And you did so much more than I did. I'm so sorry. It's pretty. I didn't send enough. Oh, I like this. That is really, really pretty. I never thought to wrap it around anything. I mean, that makes sense. So, I should have known, but... Okay, I don't know how this is on here. Oh, there's a pant right there. This is brilliant to wrap it around something. Keeps it from getting tangled. Those are pretty. Oh, white flowers. And then here's some red. This would be pretty in a boho journal, for sure. So, we all know that, you know, well, we maybe not all know. On the back of my pickup, I have a white pickup. And that's all I ever drive is a pickup. I don't want a little car. I'm not a girl kind of girl. I'm a girly girl, but I'm a gypsy girl, but I'm a, yeah. So, on the back of my truck's hot pink lettering that says, on the tailgate it says gypsy cowgirl. And then on the back windshield, it says Bazinga. I don't know if any of y'all know who Sheldon Cooper is off of Big Bang Theory. Um, he's like my hero. I love him. And so I have Bazinga and hot pink letters on the back of my truck. And so I love gypsy stuff, but I have never made anything gypsy. I do paint furniture gypsy style sometimes. But as far as a journal or anything, because I'm scared to death, I'm going to mess it up. And people are going to think that I'm a fool. So I just don't do it. But um, I have, yeah. I have enough stuff that I should be able to do it. But it makes me nervous. So. Snippet rolls make me nervous too. This is pretty. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, that's just, I don't know. It's one of them things that makes me a nervous wreck. So, y'all, I was hungry, and I needed lunch, and I thought, oh, well, I'll try DoorDash, because, you know, I live in the country. Heck, they don't come out there. So, I go in there. I order my Taco Bueno, and it says, no, Taco Bueno is not accepting orders. I'm about to starve to death. I'm like, really? So, I guess I need to go down the street to Taco Casa. This is very, very pretty. I love it. So, yeah, I guess I need to probably find some lunch. This is pretty. I love the idea of it being wrapped around. Love, love, love that idea. And I will probably steal this idea because it makes sense. I mean, it just really does. So, well, okay. I'm going to, I'll be here all day if y'all wait on me to interrupt that. This is really pretty. It's like a creamy ivory off-white. It's kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but I love it. It's beautiful. Is this a pillowcase underneath there? This is like Christmas. I mean, I keep unwrapping and it's... Wow. Look, y'all. The hanky. Isn't that pretty? 
So y'all, I think what I need to do is make me a, like a communication journal, like a big journal where I can put all my little stuff that I'm hoarding that I'm not going to do anything with because I love it, stuff, and my little cards and my notes that I get in my stuff. I want to make something like that, but I hadn't, I hadn't started yet. Wow, 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 look. There's little bitty baby sequins on there. Can you see? I can't tell where I'm sitting now. Wow. That's beautiful. Wow. The rhinestones. That is gorgeous. Very, very gorgeous. Oh, an old bobby pin. Y'all are probably screaming at me. Boob, I can't see anything. Isn't that pretty? That's very, very... It looks like there should be a bird on it somewhere. And I bet there is somewhere. Within the rain. That's very pretty. Why do cameras never show the real colorist stuff. There's another hanky. Is this tatting? Is that what this is? Tatting around the edges? I could not ever see to do something that that small. It sure is pretty though. Sure is pretty. It just keeps going. Marlene, I, I so appreciate you. You you went above and beyond when it comes to swap. That would make a gorgeous pocket. Absolutely gorgeous with that. Let me get something underneath that. Isn't that pretty? Arlene, I'm sorry. Mine was nowhere near this good. Nowhere near this good. Y'all ever do that? You send a swap and then you get one back and you're like, dang, I should have done better. That happens to me a lot. This is very, very pretty. And in fact, this will go very well on the muffin tents. Oh, I'm gonna do. I uh, I have a very good use for this. If I can just get to that project, I've I've been saving things. I have an old mailbox I want to alter, and um, this will look really really pretty on the dome of that. Very pretty. Oh, looky there! It is the. Yep. You know, we used to put it. It's wallpaper. Oh, my lantern. I want to say trim, but that don't seem right. You know what I'm saying? We always had it at the top, up by the molding, and then in the middle. You know what I'm saying, don't you? And look at that washi tape. Can you see? I don't know where you're at here. That washi tape is gorgeous. This is beautiful. And I don't know if it's coming up on the thing, but it's gorgeous. And I love, love, love this washi tape. And then I've got this white eyelet lace here. I'm not going to unwrap it because I think it's really cute up there at the top. The whole thing was cute, but I had to unwrap it so I could see what was going on. Um, and then I've got a little bean that says story. Hello, look at that bean. Wow, oh, that's beautiful. I love these. They always remind me of bird cages, and I love bird cages. I love birds. Unless they're pecking at my ankles, then I don't like them. Wow, this is. 
I, I'm just amazed. Absolutely amazed, Marlene. I just am in awe because you are like the best swap partner ever. This is great. And I appreciate it so, so, so much. I mean, I will use every single bit of this stuff. I love it. And there's so much. And I, I am so thankful, so thankful. This will all get put to really good use. So, that is that. I'm going to have to stop talking about it or I'm going to start crying. Y'all know I'm a big old... Uh, baby when it comes to somebody mailing me something. I don't know why. I just am. I just am. You know, for so many years, I pen -palled, um in high school, in my early 20s, oh, up to my mid-30s, really. And um, we have lost finally that where I didn't have any pen pals left. And so getting stuff in the mail always just seems so... And it doesn't even have to be stuff. It can be a letter. To me, I just sit down and I soak it all in. And I know, I sound like I'm a freaking weirdo. But <laughs> I'm really not any more weird than anybody else, I guess. I just have my weird stuff. But I just think it's neat to open the mailbox and know that somebody somewhere across this big old world thought of you. And, you know, I have very limited um, friendships. No I, I, no, I don't. I have a lot of friendships. I have some wonderful friends. However, I moved where I'm at now 10 years ago, 11, 12 years ago to remarry. Um, and so I don't have a lot of friends where I live because I've spent a lot of time working and doing, you know, those kinds of things and raising Emma. And so there wasn't a need or the time for going out. There were things, you know, responsibilities. And so I've always enjoyed mail because it kind of comes to you. And you can sit down with a cup of coffee at night and open a letter and read about somebody else's mess, basically. <laughs> Or their good points or you know see a picture of a new country or I just think it's neat I think it's a lost art and I wish everybody would go back to it oh let me let me tell you something you know we all do this digital pictures and all this we got them on our phone and then we lose them because our phone crashes and we didn't update and we didn't go to the cloud and you know yada yada so, I went to Walgreens the other day because I take pictures with my phone and then I upload them to Walgreens and I actually go get physical photos. And we had gone to Medicine Hill and went up on this huge mountain and drove up there. I'm too fat to walk up a mountain. Um, I don't really care for hills either because of it. But And so, I had gone to pick them up and there was pictures everywhere. And I told that lady, I said, I didn't think people did regular pictures anymore and she said they're making it come back and what's really crazy is 35 millimeter which is before digital anything like that you know it had the little tube thing but she said 35 millimeter film is coming back and I was like that's got to be the most insane thing ever but I love it you know I mean I think we're probably after all this time indoors and you know that we're probably searching for all those things our we used to do when we were young and stuck at home so Marlene I appreciate it I love it Brandy thank you I love it I am going to put it all to very good use um, Y'all remember about the memory decks if you want in on that. I will. If you need some, let me know. If y'all want me to, to do some of the die cuts and put some in the Etsy store, they won't be expensive. I mean, 
the cost of my card stock and whatever. You know, I could th send like 10 for, I don't know, 250 3 bucks. You pay the shipping, whatever. But, um, because I can do some up if we need to. Some of y'all are going to have the dies because I know y'all had them before. But I just think it is a really cute way to just kind of keep memories of things. And it's something that we can continue to add to even when we're not doing that, you know. And that's what really got me is that I can make some and put them in there. Say, when I get a gift, I can take a picture of it and make it into a memory dex card. And that's what I think about, you know, is neat, is that it's a good way to, to keep those things. And so, that's that part. I already talked about putting the sale up. Etsy, y'all. Type in Etsy memory decks. Kits. Oh, my gosh. Y'all have so many, you won't need any cut. Well, I mean, we'll be cutting them by hand, but... Uh, there was a lot on there. Uh, and as soon as I get that spinner thing in the mail, it's coming with our order for this month, I will make sure I do a video showing it and what I think. Um, and I think Nicola's trying to figure out a box system for us. I think. I'm sorry, I'm sitting way over here rolling this up, not thinking about y'all not watching nothing but some paper. Um, so we'll see if we're able to come up with something that way. Um, on the memory decks, if there is a holiday that month, say like 4th of July, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas, then we'll probably make it where one of them needs to be themed that way. Um, and then the other three can be however you you like or whatever. Um, but on months that we don't per se have a holiday, then we will just do regular. Regular whichevers. Um, I think that's all I got. I think. I don't I want to say there was something else, but heck, if I know what it was, I don't know. So, I will get the swap put in. It may not be today. It might be tonight. It might be tomorrow. I'll get it put in. I'm going to set the sale up, set the event up. So, when y'all see it come up, there's probably not nothing in there quite yet. I'm going to try tonight and tomorrow to start adding stuff. Um, my nights have been kind of filled with waiting, you know. We have rabbits and chickens and goats and horses and ducks and any number of other animals that could bite or and so in the afternoon because it's so hot I've been spending a lot of time filling up waterers um, the rabbits are really struggling so two liter bottles 20 ounce bottles old ice cream buckets you know them ones that are like that I fill them up with water and I put them in the freezer and that way I can run them out there and I set them in the chicken pan so the chickens can get close to it cool off and then I put one in each one of the rabbit pens and at 105 110 degrees it don't take long for them to melt so I'm constantly out there moving them uh, so evenings are pretty full if I'm able to do it in the evenings it's usually later evening um, school is coming up so once school's back in, I think everybody will get back, kind of back into a groove. So that will help some too. We always, always, always have at least three swaps a month. Usually four. If there's five weeks that month, we usually have five. I try to do one a week to keep everybody in enough stuff that they like to do and then where they can set out when they don't want to. Um, we've had some people that have done every swap and it's been great. But, so keep an eye out for them. I'll be putting the August, the rest of the August ones up. Oh, yes I do. There is an event put up. It is the Secret Sister Santa. Sister Secret, yeah, Secret, Secret, da, 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 da. I said that a bunch of times real fast. Um, 
it will be in November. And the reason it's in November is some people are going to live in the UK or you may have a swap partner that is in Canada if you're okay with that. Um, but we need time to mail those things. And the holidays are crazy anyways. And so I figure if we do it then, we can mail it out. And you know that stressful time in between Thanksgiving and Christmas when everybody's balls to the walls just tore up. They'll have a little something to sit down with and go through. Now, it is, you're going to know who your partner you're sending to is, but you are not going to know who's sending to you. So, who you send to is not going to be the person that is sending to you. It's going to be all completely, 100%, nobody knows nothing but me. So, if you want to start gathering for your thing, if you're going to be part of it, that's that would be wonderful medium flat rate shipping box if you're in the United States it is going to be the shoe size it'll say on it medium flat rate let me see if I've got one no not here it will say on it medium flat rate and I'll try to get one so I can show y'all it's going to be about $15 to send so just be aware of that I don't care if you put it in a flat rate box if you want to put it in a brown shoe box that's fine, but it needs to be the same dimensions as that kind of box. In the UK and Canada, I'm just going to say a shoe box because that's the easiest way to make it where people understand. You know, not that we're all done, but I'm just saying sizes wise because they're not going to have the same shipping boxes we'll have. So. Um, everybody is on the, the page you sign up for that. It has a little questionnaire thing that if you'll copy and paste it and put it with your post about, about where you're sending to, that will kind of help your partner get an idea of some of the things you like so they can start putting your stuff together. November is not that far away, guys. You have, we're about to August 1st. So you have September, August, September, October. That's three months. If you're making journals for family and giving and all of that, you're busy. This gives you that little extra time to be able to know that, oh, hey, I have this extra ephemera. Or, oh, hey, they like pink ribbon and I saw this at the auction. Or, hey, you know. And so I, I want to give you enough time where you can do it and it can be a mindful gift. There are many, many, many ladies and gentlemen in the crafting community that we are the only thing they have. They don't have family members. They have nobody at home. And so we want to make sure that every person that chooses to be involved gets something special. So take your time with it. That's why you're only allowed to have one take your time with it kind of research go through the the page and see what they posted do they like pinks do they like whatever's you know um some people like chocolate some people do not um so you know i want you to send them hershey's kisses if they don't like chocolate you know what i'm saying and um so that will give everybody a chance to kind of look and see. I will do the partners the first part of November so that we know. But that, I mean, it'll just give you an idea and it allows you to start picking up little stuff or making little stuff or whatever the case may be. Um, I know I need time because I need to set couple dollars back here a couple dollars back there you know to do things and most of us do we're not none of us rich or we would not be in Paris we wouldn't be spending our time gluing lace down to a piece of paper I mean maybe we would I don't know but anyways that's all I have and um, I appreciate you guys man this is long <laughs> I didn't anticipate for it to be 
I'll put the swap up for the memory decks. Keep in mind about Secret Santa, Secret Sisters. Yeah, that one. Um, if you want to sign up, great. Go over. If y'all aren't a member of the group, it's Junk Journal Gypsy. We have swaps, and we do neat little things like the Secret Sister Santa. Um, we do not do drama, and drama is not even allowed there. We all have very full lives, and that's the last thing we need is somebody else adding a monkey wrench to the whole thing. We craft because we need to relax. We want to have fun. We just want to make pretty things. Crafting is not meant to be this stressed out thing, and so we try to make it fun. If there's drama, it won't happen. Um, so you're welcome to come check the group out if you'd like. I'll leave a description in the link below. Um, the memory decks ones, the ones that I showed you, I'll try to find them and leave them in a link below. Um, and I guess that is all. Love you guys. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out. Bye.